Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So since it's a spooky time of year, I thought I would do a little read through from one of my romance books that came out last year, which is Which Way to Romance. It's a wickedly delightful tale about a coven of witches who are viciously attacked by a demonic force that they have to discover and hunt down and destroy before it gets them. And in the meantime, maybe a little bit of romance and love even the discovery of an ancient soulmate might happen. Magic has a funny way of freeing a person to be exactly who they really are. In Agatha's case, that was a powerfully playful soul in a tiny body. Today's game was being played with her new favorite partner, Harlan Wickman. He was a tall drink of delight for the short and well-rounded witch. Harlan had joined Hollow's Bay Coven only a few months ago, but Agatha had been more enchanted with him than the time her friend Spell had bounced off a mirror and enchanted her to think dogs were all city council members. Magic might seem like a cure-all for mortals, but this fiery witch had long ago discovered the powerful price that had to be paid in order to bend ether to your will. Agatha would much rather focus on her beautiful man for once. It had been ages since she had had a conquest of any sort, and Harlan was her dream come true. Rasputin had been cranky a thousand years ago. He had been ill-tempered a few millennium past. Now he was downright repugnant. There are very few redeeming characteristics about this hell-bound creature. He had been born in the deepest, darkest hole, in the tiniest crevasse of hell, and he was one of the cruel one's favorites. The hell beast had destroyed dreams, taken life after life, and he had loved every moment of it. In fact, the only true emotions Rasputin had ever experienced had been malevolent hatred towards witches and joy at the destruction of others. His laughter came from the cruelty of the universe. I hope you liked that little quick read through. I just wanted to give you a little example of what the writing's like, a little bit of the story, a little spooky tale to chill you by your computer screen the cold glow of your phone gazing back at you. <laughs> if you want to check it out, you can click on the link down below in the description box for it. It takes you right to Amazon. You can get it. The sequel or a second book in the series is going to be coming out sometime next year. Stay tuned. Um, I'm working on it, but you know, schedule, schedules. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love getting to write in this world and you know, talk about magic and witchcraft and a big line that goes through it isn't just the haunting events or the terrifying fact that they are being hunted even though they're so powerful, but it's this idea of love being a profoundly powerful force in the universe, even more so maybe than magic, that it feeds into magic and magic feeds into it. I loved writing that. So until next time, hey, thanks so much for following along and being goofy with me and loving books as much as I love books. I love reading. If you have a great paranormal romance um, that's, you know, got a nice ending and that isn't too violent, I would love to hear your examples in the comments because um, I love to check those books out. I read so much. I'm such a little bookworm. I can't resist it. <laughs> okay, so until next time, I'm going to see you all over my Instagram page. I'll see you on the other channel. And as always, hey, Thank you so much for subscribing and being a part of our little community. I love it. See y'all around.